Now that looks very shiny, doesn't it? I bet it's just technology, but 2016, it could be a Shakespeare, couldn't it? Hello and welcome back to another coin to collect video. Today I have a two pound coin hunt for you. There we go, it's a sealed bag. I'm obviously still looking to complete my change checker album. I've got a few of the old two pound coins I'm still missing. I'm still missing the four Commonwealth coins. Um, I think I'll probably have to buy them one day. The Mary Rose, uh, World War I Centenary, the Navy Centenary, and the Great Fire of London. I got a uh, Shakespeare's comedy. I did a, a trade with Caledonian coins, so, so that's one I've had to swap to, to get hold of. And then all the rest are not intended for circulation, so um, again, I'll have to uh, probably buy them at some point. But I've still, marveling at my 2018 Captain Cook coin. It is a stunning coin and probably my favorite two pound coin I'm thinking of all time. Mind you, like to check out that Mary Rose though. If I can find one of those, that'd be brilliant if I find a Mary Rose. Anyway, anything that I find that I already have in my album goes into my secondary album. And yeah, I'm missing a ton from there so it's not really worth talking about too much. Let's put these to one side. I thought I'd better show you the last few videos I've been combining my coins I've found in my pocket with the uh, coin hunts. It seems an easy way to do it. And some of the more common finds I've found the last few weeks in my change is the Brunel portraits. There we have the St Paul's, Charles Darwin, steam locomotive, and the gunpowder plot. And that quite clearly says remember, remember. So no members on that, which is always good. I actually found um, a couple of slightly rarer ones. We had the um, Robert Burns, or Robbie Burns. I've got one of those. Uh, that's a little bit of grub here, but I found a much nicer one. So that's two Robert Burns. I mean, that is a really nice one. So, okay, we'll put those two down there. And then probably the star find from my change for the last few weeks has got to be Shakespeare's Tragedies. I do actually find quite a lot of those in my change, actually. It's the histories and the comedies, definitely, that are the rarer two to find, for me anyway. So we'll put him down there. Right, let's get into this bag. It's a sealed bag from the bank. Can't see anything decent through the bag. Some very grubby coins. And it's dated and stamped, Southend on Sea Branch. Right, let's get into this. Let's count these out. One, two, three. 24 and 25. So we'll make this our first bag. The first one we find is technologies. Uh, obviously, we're not too interested in technologies unless there's a NFI, NIFC, <laughs> NIFC years. But to be honest with you, I flip through these quite fast and I, you know, it's like a steam train just rolling over them. I wouldn't spot them. Um, and I'm probably unlikely to spot any fakes either. I'm, I'm really no good at that. I just, just whiz through them. If you want fake two pound coins, always best to go to coin cupboard. Much more eagle eyes than me. So anyway, enough waffling. And um, we'll start this hunt finally. And that's my first commemorative. And that is the steam locomotive. So we have another one of those. Where did I put that first one? Top there. Just got a suspicious feeling today. I don't know if I can explain it any better than that. Nothing in that one. I picked up with these two pound coins, I picked up a um, hundred pound in 10 P's. And I've looked at the bag and some of the bags are five P's in there. So I'm definitely gonna have to, so I'm gonna have to check that one out, film that and obviously if it's dodgy, 
I can take it back to the bank and say, look, I've got the film evidence of me opening the sealed bag. So we'll do that. There we go. Florence Nightingale. That is a cracking design, isn't it? I like that one. There you go. Show that off in the best light. So that's a new one for the hunt. And then we have the World War One centenary, the Army, or Tron helmets, as Bungle likes to call them. Oh, well, just as I thought they were gonna have a, a bust for that bag, we found the abolition of slavery. Now, there are some versions of this which have a smooth finish to the center circle and they have the artist initials which I can't remember off the top of my head um, just next to the seven and they were only intended for uh, collectors packs and I have actually found one uh, a friend of mine found it in his change and gave it to me so uh, I have one in my collection in my album Oh, another Guy Fawkes. And there. Oh, that's nice. I was just talking about those before. Shakespeare's Tragedies. No, hang on a second. What's that one? No, that's Shakespeare's Histories, isn't it, silly boy? And that is a stunning coin to find. And that's a really nice condition as well. It's been out there for, what, three years now? 2016. But that's, that's really nice. What's that on my hand? So that's two out of the three Shakespeare's. Just need to find those comedies now. That would be amazing <laughs> to find all three. Well, another Charles Darwin. I did a hunt, uh, I did a two pound coin hunt. Hold on. I did a two pound coin hunt a few weeks ago and I found absolutely nothing. Not even a St. Paul's or a um, thingy, thingy portrait one. Obviously, you guys never saw that. <laughs> Talking to Brunel, there's his other coin, the Arches of Paddington Station. Bring it up a bit closer for you. I'm sure you've seen millions of them. Very cool. Okay. Let's take one from the far right. <laughs> I always say that. I, oh, I cringe whenever I say that. Oh, that on top. Rugby World Cup. The 1990 Rugby World Cup, or was it 2000 World Cup? I'm not sure, but. That's the Rugby World Cup coin anyway. Stick him on the end there. wireless transmissions. It doesn't look that grubby, but it definitely looks discolored and, and well, old, doesn't it? Yeah, 2001 wireless transmissions. God, now this is the disgusting this is the disgusting and grubby bag. Yuck. Oh, Lord Kitchener. Pretty common, I think. I don't find many of them, but definitely class is common and another grubby horrible grubby technology oh 
another Lord Kitchener. Another Lord Kitchener. And three of them. Another Rugby World Cup. Now that looks very shiny, doesn't it? I bet it's just technology, but 2016. So it could be a Shakespeare, couldn't it? Ah, it's Britannia, but that's still good. It's not a Shakespeare, but I'm still happy with that. <laughs> I sounded disappointed, didn't I? <laughs> the 2016 Britannia is not too bad at all. Right. Now let's find a 2015 Britannia. Another shiny one. Technology. Last two bags. Let's do a Christopher Collects and do the two of them together. Bit more of a handful. Oh, I was just about to say, hope the last two bags aren't a bust, but we found another Charles Darwin. Yeah, there in the middle. Technology, technologies, 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 there we go. I'm looking forward to the Britannia being the definitive. Uh, two pound coin but obviously technologies will be around for a long time yet okay so that's it finished so we've got a nice little spread of a lot of different coins it's quite nice we've got four act of the abolition of slavery three portraits three kitcheners three robert burns oh three um charles darwin's but i guess the stars are the Shakespeare's tragedies that I found in my change, the Shakespeare's histories that we just found in the hunt, and obviously the 2016 Britannia uh, not to be sniffed at either. Nothing new for the book, unfortunately, and nothing new for my secondary album. I will just check that. Mind you, I've got some spaces there, haven't we? Just double check that. Yeah, none of those. Oh well, never mind. Please like and subscribe this video, uh, but until the next time, keep looking out for those coins to collect.